What's up guys, welcome to Daydreamer, I'm Sunny and this is my WWE Royal Rumble 2017 prediction show. What I want to do for you is run down the matches, give you my thoughts on the build up and give you my predictions for all of the matches on the card. I'm going to be playing WWE 2K17 while I'm at it. I'm going to be playing through the World Heavyweight Championship match between John Cena and AJ Styles. But before we go and talk about that match, let's talk about the two matches on the pre-show. So first of all, we've got Cesaro and Sheamus versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. Now, I can't help but feel that this has been uh, a long time coming for Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. I feel like they should have maybe won the championships a long time ago. Um, no real objections to Sheamus and Cesaro, but um, I don't think they have much longevity as a tag team going forward. The fact that this match is on the pre-show doesn't really give me a great deal of hope, if I'm being perfectly honest, for these titles to change hands. Um, so I'm going to go for Cesaro and Sheamus for this one, just for that fact alone, which is a shame. I do think their time is coming. I really, really do. Um, I just don't see it being this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. Uh, the other match we've got on the pre-show is Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Uh, now, Sasha Banks has gone from being in the main event of pay-per-views to the pre-show very quickly. Obviously, Charlotte and Bailey will be fighting for the WWE Raw Women's Championship a bit later on in the card. This is uh, an interesting match. For me, this is a match that um, is going to enhance Nia Jax. Now, uh, I do rate Nia Jax. I think she's had a bit of a rough time of it since she came up to the main roster from NXT. Uh, just fighting local talent, enhancement talent and stuff like that. And not really been given uh, a, a chance to shine against uh, a real competitor, for lack of a better term. Um, Sasha Banks, obviously not really got an awful lot to do at the minute and I think this is a good chance to put Nia over and I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, I think WWE will play on Sasha Banks's injury and that's going to you know, come into play with Nia winning um, which I do think will happen. I'm fine with it. Um, I don't think Sasha Banks at this point needs to prove anything because, um, you know, she is a solid women's main eventer and I have no doubts that she will be involved in any sort of women's title match that they're going to have at WrestleMania this year. My prediction is that uh, we'll actually see Nia, Bailey, Charlotte and Sasha Banks in a fatal four-way at WrestleMania. So this is a good way for Nia Jax to be introduced uh, into that main event scene. Moving on to the main card, um, it could be in any particular order, so we'll just go through it in just some sort of random order, putting the Royal Rumble last and the two World Championship matches before it. We'll start with the Cruiserweight Championship match, which is going to be between Rich Swan, who is the current champion, against the quote-unquote king of the Cruiserweights, Neville. Neville has really given a new life to the Cruiserweight division since he came back. Uh, came back with a new persona, he's now a heel, and he's declared himself as the king of the cruiserweights. Hard to deny the fact, the only thing that's missing of course from his uh, his reign as king is of course the championship. Uh, Rich One has had uh, a lot of momentum and I think he's probably held the cruiserweight championship longer than any other cruiserweight champion that we've had in this new iteration of the cruiserweight division. However, I do see Neville winning it. Um, momentum is firmly on his side and I think it's Neville's time to win it. I don't like how the Cruiserweight title has been bounced around. Of course, TJP won it at the Cruiserweight Classic. Brian Kendrick won it from him. And then Rich Swan, of course, won it from Brian Kendrick. So uh, it does look like there's going to be another title change on the hands. This one, however, does feel right. Um, because if Neville didn't win it, I wouldn't really be too sure what was ne what would be next for him. So I see Neville going over Rich Swan, and I'm, I, I think that'd be a great match as well. I'm really looking forward to that one. Let's move on to the SmackDown Women's Championship match, which is, uh, in fact, 
ignore me. No, that's wrong. It's going to be Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella, and Naomi versus Alexa Bliss, Mickey James, and Natalia. So no women's title match for SmackDown at the pay per view. Instead, we're going to have a six woman tag team match. Um, not really sure why this is happening. Um, my guess is to forward the individual feud. So we've got Becky Lynch and Mickey James. Uh, Alexa Bliss and Naomi seem to enter a program this past week on SmackDown. And Nikki Bella, of course, in her weekly brawl fest with Natalia. I see the heel team winning, um, which is okay, I guess. I mean, this is a really a nothing match. Uh, just an excuse to get all six women on the pay-per-view. For me, this really sh should have been on the pre-show and the tag team championship match should have been on the main card. But uh, I don't book WWE. What do I know? Now, we do have a women's championship match at the Royal Rumble. Like I mentioned earlier on, Charlotte Flair is taking on Bailey for the Raw Women's Championship. Charlotte, of course, the defending champion. Um, I do see Bailey winning the championship, just not at the Royal Rumble. I, I think she walks out of WrestleMania as the Raw Women's Champion, um, and I see Charlotte's impeccable pay-per-view streak continuing. Um, I believe this will be 15 or 16 in a row for Charlotte. Um, she really is the best that WWE has at the minute, so it's really difficult to argue against her being the Women's Champion. Like I said, I do see her losing it, but uh, not until WrestleMania. Now, the main event scene on both Raw and SmackDown is an interesting one at the minute. And we'll start with Raw. Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Now, Raw, over the last few months, probably since September, has been littered with Kevin Owens... Roman Reigns, Chris Jericho and Seth Rollins um, just in, in various matches either against each other or teaming up and all sorts of all sorts of stuff and in my opinion Kevin Owens hasn't really had the best run as Universal Champion what I envisage, envisage here is Roman Reigns winning the belt and him carrying it forward until Wrestlemania and maybe losing it or defending it there. Um, it's difficult to say at the minute. I think we'll know more after the Royal Rumble. I just think Kevin Owens' title reign needs the reset button hit on it. Just for now. Um, I think maybe when Chris Jericho leaves again to go and do his uh, fuzzy stuff, that's when Kevin Owens should maybe make a, another challenge at the Universal Championship, just so he can win it and have the, the run he really deserves. Chris Jericho, of course, is going to be suspended above the ring in a shark cage. WWE really wants you to buy their toys. but um, So the US title isn't being defended on the show, which is a real shame. Uh, that title is in serious trouble and in serious need of in some sort of uh, reinvigoration. It hasn't really meant an awful lot since John Cena maybe lost it uh, to Kevin Owens, incidentally. So um, I think Roman Reigns is going to go over this one. And I think he's going to win the uh, the championship. And I think he'll be the one. I think he might... Uh, in fact, going back to what I, I said earlier on, I think he'll actually carry it um, for most of the year. Um, at least that's how I see it at the minute. Of course, things could change. And obviously, this is me spitballing completely. But uh, back to my prediction. Uh, I see Reigns winning. I see Reigns winning the Universal Championship for sure. Moving on to the SmackDown Championship, which is the match you can see in front of you now. John Cena versus AJ Styles now. Um, Cena's back and he's seems to be healing a little bit. <clears throat> um, he's, his attitude has changed. I think they're teasing maybe some kind of uh, potential heel turn for him. Maybe I think they may be testing the waters. So Cena's back and... He's challenging AJ Styles for the uh, SmackDown Heavyweight Championship. The most prestigious championship in the WWE. It's it's a difficult one because obviously I really want AJ Styles to win. And I would love to see him in uh, a big spot at WrestleMania. However, I don't see that. Uh, I do see John Cena winning 
the championship for the 16th time, equaling Ric Flair's record and carrying it forward to WrestleMania. Um, AJ Styles will, of course, get his uh, rematch in one shape or another at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. How I see this actually panning out, and I'm going to throw a wild prediction out there. Uh, I see somebody costing AJ the championship. Um, so maybe AJ's potential WrestleMania opponent. Could we see Samoa Joe? I think potentially. And uh, he could maybe help Cena win the championship. Or, more to the point, uh, assist AJ Styles in losing the championship. And then they would have a program going forward. Uh, which would be a sweetener. Um for AJ losing the championship at least we get to see AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe on WWE TV on the grandest stage of them all now Cena winning leads to my Royal Rumble prediction it's it's an it's an open it's, it really is uh, an open field this year there's so many different people that could actually come out of the Royal Rumble with that number one contender spot for Wrestlemania However, I see it going to one person and one person only. Now, I know rumours have basically said that Cena versus Taker is off the cards for WrestleMania, but I find that very, very difficult to believe. Um, I think it has WrestleMania main event written all over it, and if they're going to do it, this is the year they have to do it, because I don't see Undertaker being around for that much longer. I really don't. I see him... Winning the Royal Rumble, going on to WrestleMania, challenging John Cena, and not only challenging John Cena, but beating him for the championship as well. Um, and then I think this is probably going to be Taker's last run um, of any sort of substance. But I do think he has sort of maybe one title challenge left in him, and I, I think that I think it's coming. So I think he's going to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, because it looks like Brock versus Goldberg is probably going to be nailed on for WrestleMania. And that is what they're going to go with. Uh, I think it's too soon for Braun Strowman. Um, the only other person I can really see winning it is maybe The Miz. But I, I think that's a long shot. I still think he's going to enter into some sort of program with Daniel Bryan going into WrestleMania. Now whether that's got Daniel Bryan in a... Uh, a wrestling scenario, if they're going to clear him or not in time for that, I don't know. But uh, m maybe The Miz could win it. I mean, nothing on SmackDown has sort of given you any indication that any guys on that show could actually win the Royal Rumble. Uh, Baron Corbin, maybe. But like Braun Strowman, I think it's too soon for him. Uh, either way, I think it's going to be uh, an interesting show. Uh, one that I always very much look forward to. Um, always nice to see some old faces back of course you know there's the potential that we could see Kurt Angle although he has come out and categorically categorically denied that he's going to be involved however he was meant to commentate for five star wrestling uh, in Dublin sorry in uh, in Scotland I think it's in Scotland or Ireland. either way he's due to commentate for five star wrestling but he's actually been pulled from that event um, so I think we we may see him regardless of what he says do we see Kenny Omega? I don't think so. Not yet. I think we will see him in WWE at some point. But, I mean, even he says himself, he thinks it's something that even he can't pull out of the hat um, this close to the Raw Rumble. But, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to the show. I see Taker winning it, and I see Taker seeing a headlining WrestleMania. It, it can't be Brock Goldberg. It just, it just can't be out. If that closes out WrestleMania, I think a lot of people will be very disappointed. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great show. Uh, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, if you agree with my predictions or not. Um, but uh, I want to hear what you guys think. Um, so like, subscribe, and share the video. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter at DDreamerGaming. Uh, you can also check out Sunny Finn Play on YouTube, which is youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. And yeah, that's pretty much all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this Royal Rumble predictions video. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Take it easy. And I'll leave you with the end of John Cena versus AJ Styles. Goodbye. <laughs>